Good morning, backers! I'm your host, Bamboo, and today I'm going to take you through just a few of my favorite Kickstarters. And last, we have a Indiegogo project for the Pocket Tool 2.0, the tool that does everything and fits in your pocket. I mean, this does every single thing except cook you dinner. Like I talked about earlier, I'm not a great fan of these multi-tools, tools that do everything, because I think they, in general, they don't do one thing really well. They try to do with so many things at the same time that, oh, you know, you know how it is. But a lot of people like this stuff, and they like it often as gifts and to give away to people. Maybe carry it. Sometimes it can come in handy, you know. This is cool because it's got a built-in saw there. Um, Oh, built a I said saw a built-in knife blade there too. That's very really, that's really useful. It's got a wrench, which I can't really tell what size that is. Flathead. It's got a flathead screwdriver on here. It's got a Phillips head here. It's got these uh, obligatory step slot for different size hex wrenches that I don't believe ever work that well. Or how are you gonna most of the time how are you gonna get the tool in the right position to use that? I I'm not too crazy about that. The pulley with which I don't know what you're going to do. Like, what, why do I need a pulley on a multi-tool? I'm confused about that. Well, I, I think I obviously need the pulley to lift weights. So when I encounter something that's heavy, I'm going to rig this up and lift it. Like, stab a grizzly bear with the knife, and then I need to carry it out through the fort. I need to lift it up in the tree to skin it. Then I'm going to use the pulley. The This paracord, too. Yeah, it's going to come with this. I'm going to take the paracord bracelet off, and I'm going to you know, stretch out the paracord and s tie this up on a branch on the tree, sling the paracord through, tie it up to the grizzly bear, lift them into the tree, and then tie it off on the tree branch, on the tree branch. But then I won't have my knife anymore to skin the grizzly bear and make the jacket and sleeping bag out of the skin that I so need to survive the, the frigid nights. And so what am I going to do? How do can I separate this in two? Like, does it come apart? Um, so I can use the saw separately from the pulley. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out what it does. So pulley. Oh, maybe I can relieve from burden. What am I relieving from burden that I need the pulley? It's equipped with a pulley. You no longer have to carry on overweight equipment on your back while outdoor climbing. So as to delay your journey. Now you can strings strings through the forest and suspend your backpack and go from one pulley to the next zip lining your gear through the forest it's gonna be amazing I, I i i feel like i need to make a video of just me doing that i mean it's gonna be awesome like people just won't believe it like how did you how did you even get here dude with that huge backpack i'll be like oh you know i just used my multi-tool with a pulley here and i'd zip line the backpack from rope to rope through the forest just like a monkey swinging through the trees and uh they're gonna all want one after that you know after i show them that they're just gonna be they're gonna be so impressed by the multi-tool with the pulley to relieve my burden it's gonna be amazing and then but i if, if when i want to start the fire though do i need to take it down from the from the the, the rope uh, where's my gear gonna go how you know my gear won't be suspended the raccoons are gonna get my food Oh, oh, but I'm going to use the, the flint to make a fire to chase off the raccoons, you know, so that, because the raccoons are scared of fire. That's right. I forgot about that. No, they're not. I saw a raccoon come pretty close to our campfire and take a piss on it. I was like, hey, what's up, dude? You're in my territory. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to leave. See you. The pocket knife is as sharp as you wish. You know, I've never had to wish the sharpness of a knife before, but I often wished a knife was sharper than it was. Does this meet my wishes? Is this, a, is this also a genie in here that's granting me sharpness which, wishes? This tool is amazing on so many levels. A small sharp blade has been added to the design of the Pocket Tool 2.0. Sharp enough to cut the, cut the rope. Okay, so you need the knife to cut the rope that you sling your gear on, uh, but... You still can't. What do you, can you can you pull the knife out and like swing it around and cut the rope? The knife is foldable and easy to use. Sharpen branches and even cut meat. Well, that's what I was talking about earlier. But how can I get my grizzly down? You know, how can I cut a hunk of meat out of my grizzly to and make my fire while it's hanging up in the tree where I had to skin it? Man, I'm gonna have to get a lot of these multi tools. You know, really like I'm gonna have to get more than one because I need what, what is it? I need one. I need one to hang the grizzly up. Grizzly up. One to swing my gear through the forest. One to 
cut the rope after I swing my gear through the forest, one to start the fire, one to skin the grizzly, one to, well, I guess I can use the same one to cut the meat out. Sharpen branches, I can use the same one. So I, uh, I'm adding up too many. I've got five, I've got five, I need five right now. What else, what else am I missing here? Can someone tell me what I'm missing here? I'm gonna need one to press my friends with because they're all gonna want one and I have to give away at least one to someone, you know, make make some, I probably have to make some new friends, you know, in the forest. Probably need one to throw as a decoy to all the people chasing me in the forest who want to get this multi-tool from me. I'm at seven now, yeah. Do I really need 10 of these maybe? Because I bet there's a 10 option in here. Let me see if there's a 10 option in here. 10 times, ah, I have to figure out how, why I would need 10 of these, $350. Man, I could do a lot with $350 in the woods. Like, I don't know. I'm out. I don't know, which one would you rather have? $350 in the woods or 10 of these? So wait, I was at seven, I was at seven, right? So what else do I need? We got the zip lining, we got the cutting rope, hex wrench, protractor, pulley. What, I need more pulleys. Oh wait, I had the pulley to cut my gear, so I, I need I need another pulley for my gear. I'm really having a hard time to get the 10 of these. It's, it's actually tougher than I thought. Oh, I need to open up the paint can in the woods. Then I'm gonna paint my house that I cut with the sticks with a knife. Oh yeah, 10th one to carry my keys. Something needs to carry my keys. That's about it. It was hard to find. It was hard to find the use for 10 of these. I, although I'm looking down now, I'm seeing staple nail remover, a hex wrench, uh, wire buckle. I, well, I didn't know what a wire buckle is. I thought a buckle's wire. I guess it's plier in the pocket tool is designed for easy wire cutting and thick wire twisting. So that means that if you can't cut thick wire, you got to twist it. You know, twist it. You know, it's, it's that technique where you twist it until it breaks. That's what you're going to have to use with this tool to, to cut through thick wire. More application scenarios. As if I haven't had enough already. Wow. And the best part is unfolded, it looks like a gun. Looks like a rifle. So you're carrying a mini AK-47 M16 in your pocket that even has like a little, you know, you can you can just like pull down the hang, that, that clip, the carabiner clip and go pew, 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 you know, towards the bears that are chasing you. It's gonna do a lot of good. And it's like, it's got like a bayonet on the front. That is pretty fantastic. Protractor, you can put a little magnet needle in there and make a compass with it too. You gotta MacGyver some stuff around here. <gasps> it's magnetic for all those times you need to, to use a horseshoe magnet to pick up your objects because your hands can't. And the survival bracelets, well, we already got a use for those. We're gonna be hanging our gear and zip lining through the forest with it. So it's $35 for one, $350 for 10. That's not a, there's no discount on there. It's 42% off after the same discount as one. What's going on? Okay, so this was actually previously funded on Kickstarter. Go back up here. We can see that it's raised $247,000. 223,000 of which was on Kickstarter. So if I go to the Kickstarter, you can see like this raised $223,000, 5,142 backers. People love this stuff. So this is like a little wrench, like two two different size hex wrench. I guess you get a quarter inch and a and a smaller one. This sold bang gangbusters on here. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to pledge on one here. I will be sending this out to a subscriber in a future video who leaves a comment. So I'll let you know what video that is, but watch for it in a future video. We're gonna have a giveaway for this. Let's just go ahead and get this perk and get it out of the way because this is too awesome. I need 10 of them, but I'm only gonna pledge on one. Kind of feel like I really need to watch the video at this point. After all that, I need to watch the video. <laughs> Try to turn the volume down. 30 in multifunction stone wash treatment. It's washed with stones. That's the way I wash everything. All those tools. You see all those tools there? This replaces all of them. That's it. That's all you need to know. You got a portable buckle. Snap it on everything. Oh, you need a lot of cuts to get through that hemp soft rope. And you can sharpen sticks for poking people. Outdoor bottle opener. That's probably going to be the most used thing, really, honestly, the bottle opener. You can measure a spoke wrench. That's actually useful because I do a lot of bike riding. Um, yep. There you go, zip lining. Woohoo! Oh, it's having a little trouble there. I, a single pulley zip line is never that great. So, I think 
down this volume here. It's really loud. Um, so you had to spin the whole M16 around to just, I don't know, pry up nails with that. I've, you know, I have difficulty sometimes with a real hammer to pry up a nail because of, you know, just how weak I am. <laughs> no, I just don't see that, I do see myself prying up nails with this, but maybe in a pinch when I really need a nail. And there you go, Pocket Tool 2.0, we're out. Okay, so keep an eye out for future videos like this where I review some of my favorite crowdfunding projects that are currently on. If you want this Infinity Cube, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment and look down at the description to see, like I might be asking a question or something like that that you have to answer. Keep an eye out for future videos. I'm gonna be doing more giveaways of previous crowdfunded projects, either ones that I've purchased uh, off crowdfunding or some that I've made in the past even. I hope you enjoyed my review and deep look into these projects.